I want to bring on my guest today, the CEO of Green Venture Advisory, Jeffrey Harris. Uh, Well, let's talk about silver linings. Are there any? Absolutely. There's a lot of research that indicates that plant-based will, uh, worldwide, globally, will grow to close to $87 billion in 2032. And um, it was about $39 billion in 20, excuse me, in 2032. And in 2022, it was about $39 billion. So this goes back to the tech bubble thing mm-hmm. that you just mentioned. So, you know, everyone threw their money at all these tech companies and uh, computer companies, and this was all going on. And then that bubble burst and people wondered, will people ever really use personal computers? And is this internet thing really going to happen? Well, of course it is. That new technology was going to transform our planet. And the fact that there was a bubble Mm -hmm. was not indicative of the fact that there was this massive value being created with the technology. Mm -hmm. In the same way, I really believe that a plant-based future is absolutely a requirement for our planet. I know that there's the cultivated meat dimension as well. And there's all sorts of other things we have to do to address climate change. But the most significant thing we can do to uh, address climate change is to have more and more of the population eat plant-based, which happens to be a huge benefit for their health and their wellness, Mm -hmm. which for me happens to be a huge benefit for the animal welfare. Mm -hmm. And so I still believe that plant-based is the future. And if the market gets corrected, it doesn't mean that there's not a massive value in plant-based foods or in growing consumer interest. I do want to say that uh, as a vegan, I'm always going around and going, Why? where are all the vegan restaurants? I left LA the other day and I was up in Santa Barbara and a lot of the restaurants I went into had vegan options, more so than ever before. And it's not just the Beyond Burger or the Beyond Chicken or the Impossible Burger. I'm seeing more and more vegan options out there. And entrepreneurs in brick and mortar are understanding that to attract the entire family, sure. They need to add more plant-based options. And even, you know, years ago, having been a vegan for a long time, I would go to Whole Foods or Sprouts to get this stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, I can go into Grocery Outlet, which is not a high demographic here in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. or Ralph's or Albertson's or any of these other places, and I can find a ton of plant-based products. And so I think that that indicates that there are, um, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of people mm-hmm. out there buying that stuff. 